Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and I'm back with another room building video for The Sims 4. So with this one, we are finally finishing off the Pretty Little Liar series, having all of the girls' bedrooms built in Sims 4 version. So first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry and I really really hope you don't hear what's going on outside. But there are some kids outside that are playing loud music and throwing stuff and yelling and screaming so I really hope that my mic doesn't catch up on that and if it does I apologize in advance. So anyway let's get back into the video. Uh, like I've said in my previous videos I have a few favorites um, of the girls, uh, the bedrooms I mean. My favorite was Hannah's and my least favorite was Emily's to be honest. This room is really cool. It's not particularly my style and what I like in interior design, but I do really like it. And I do like how it turned out in The Sims 4, even though there are not many um, um, furniture design wise. It's just, it doesn't really have anything that is exactly like her room, so I had to improvise a lot. For instance, the bed. I was really, really stoked for the bed because it's one of those beds that have canopy over it and I really love that. But The Sims 4 unfortunately doesn't have one or at least the expansion packs and game packs that I have don't have a bed like that. So I was wondering, you know, I started thinking about it and I think The Sims 3 had a default bed that had canopy on it. I can remember putting beds like that and I didn't have a lot of expansion packs so I was really really bummed out that The Sims 4 doesn't have one but hopefully we will have one in the future. So another thing that I really um, noticed in her room and Spencer's room is that her um, her bedside tables are sort of double. I mean they're larger than the normal ones and that's what I'm trying to um, incorporate here you know you see me using the move objects sheet to make them look like just one giant um, end table next to her bed and I think it turned out pretty good and I do realize that her bed and her bedside tables are white but unfortunately the bed that I chose that was closest to what she has on the show um, didn't have a white bed frame so I had to make it a bit darker and I think it worked it worked out fine because we do put in a chair afterwards next to her desk that is also dark gray and I think it's just having the dark gray wood on her bed and the end tables just kind of um, pulled it off uh, very nicely. So something um, that was that I was struggling with is, as you can see, trying to put curtains and later on you'll see on her closet, trying to put doors in um, that are really close to a wall. Um, even though I have move objects sheet on, they automatically snap to the nearest wall. So I had a couple of times you've seen me do this, but I had to delete the walls and put the curtains and the doors in and then re uh, rebuild the walls so if only if only construction was that easy <laughs> like in the sims so here you see me struggling a little bit with her closet like I said the doors were just snapping to the wall so I had to delete them but overall I think it turned out pretty good I mean I really like uh, this whole section uh, that's her closet unfortunately I forgot to put in any other kind of closet so if you do download it in your sims game just remember that your sim doesn't have anywhere to change so you might want to put in a dresser and um, another thing that I really really like in her bedroom is her uh, bookshelf and the bookshelf that we have in the sims 4 is almost the exact so that's something that I was very stoked up about very stoked about and yeah I think it worked out fine and here you see me putting in some rewards and ribbons you know uh, Spencer is kind of an overachiever so she has this huge um, board above her desk that has all sorts of um, designs and even 
architectural sketches and stuff. So I thought that, you know, in The Sims we had objects that can represent that. So that was really great. So I've mentioned in some of my previous videos that seeing snapshots of the set uh, in the different rooms, they kind of change some of the things. They're very small details, but when you try to incorporate or represent the room exactly as it is, it's kind of hard because there are different things in different places at different times of the show and you know it's been running for like seven seasons now so it's only natural that things change so one of the things was uh, the mirror that you saw me put in the corner there are, there are snapshots where there's no mirror then there's that mirror then there's another mirror that's more angular so <laughs> I thought I'd go with the round one because it suited I guess the whole vibe of the room better and also, I don't have spa patio uh, stuff pack thingy with the lounge chair, so I had to improvise. And the red chair that is so very, um, mm, so very, you know, you, you just, ugh, I forgot how to English. <laughs> it's very noticeable in her room. It's like the red accent in Spencer's room, but unfortunately, I don't have a chair like that in my game so I had to improvise a little bit and I put a living chair which I'm going to change out in just a minute because I didn't like this one but I have the living chair with the little you know uh, poof next to it so it looks like a big lounge chair so after I change out the chair I think we're going to be done with the room and we're going to go into the screenshots so guys if you want to check all the other videos out i have a link in the description below and if you like what you see please hit that like like button and do subscribe so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video so bye bye